What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you guys how I achieve this amazing look. I'm going to show you guys how I do my hair, how I do my makeup, what products I use and all that stuff. So if you're interested in that, just keep watching the video. But yeah, that is the intro. Let's get into the video. Good morning, or I guess it's not morning, it's literally 2 p.m. Um, good afternoon. I had a really long night. I literally stayed up the entire night. So I woke up super late today. But I'm gonna show you guys how I get ready and how I do my makeup and how I do my hair. I'm gonna take a shower and wash this disgustingness off of my head. And I will get back to you guys. 20 minutes later. So I just finished my shower. It's been like an hour, so my hair is just damp now. But the first thing I do is take eco gel. Like this jar is massive. I go in with this spoolie. I just put it in my eyebrows so that my eyebrows hair stay in place. And then while that dries, I go in with concealer, the Fit Me Concealer in shade 15. And I blend it in. And then I take my Morphe palette. In case you guys didn't know, this thing is like five years old. It's the 35O palette. I mean, all the colors are still here, so I don't really find the need to buy another one. Does makeup really expire? Or is that just a myth? Because I feel like it performs the same, but whatever. Okay, and then I go in with this super light shade. I just put it all over my lid. I'm actually so pale. Like, I'm so pale. I haven't tanned since... I don't even know. I hate tan lines. Like, I know nobody's gonna see it, but... I'm gonna see it, and I hate tan lines. I hate it. It's so ugly. So I'd rather be pale as shit. Anyways, going with blendy brush, this brush, I don't know what it's called. I'm gonna go into a brown, brown? And I just put it all over my crease. Okay, and then after that, I take this tiny little brush and I go into a darker shade, I think, like... I don't know, whatever I'm feeling, like a dark brown. And I just focus on like the outer crease. When I was younger, I actually watched like a shit ton of makeup tutorials. That is the only reason why I somewhat know how to do my makeup. Anyways, now I go into this very sparkly color. It is literally almost gone. Like that shade, I wish they sold it separately, do they? I don't think they do. But if they did, I would buy it. Like, look, look at that. Are you kidding me? Whoever made this color deserves their ass a. After that, I'm gonna put my eyeliner on. Now, a lot of people have asked me how I do my eyeliner. Um, I don't really know how to explain it, but I'll try my best. I have this liquid eyeliner from NYX, but I start at the corner of my eye right here and I lift it up towards the end of my eyebrow like that and then I go here and I just connect it like that I think I'm allergic to this because it, it low-key stings but anyways and then I connect it to the rest of my eye And then I do the same thing to my other eye. This is the hardest part, is trying to get these two to match. In my experience, they're, ne they're, just, they're just never gonna match. You know what, I don't even care because people don't know this. People aren't gonna come up to me and be like, um, woman, your eyeliner does not match. Like, and if they do, I'll just clock them in the face. On a good day, they'll match. After that, I go in with my concealer. I put concealer under my eye right here. And right where highlight is usually. This method kind of lifts your face. Because if you put it down here, the light is going to bounce off and it's going to make it look like your cheeks are bigger. Now that most of my redness is gone, I go in with this NYX Wonder Stick. It's a little more orange for my taste. I'm not the best at contouring. I literally see- I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. 
sometimes I, I feel like I'm just doing it for fun. Like, I don't know if it actually does something. Okay. And then I go in this ColourPop Super Shock Cheek Blush and Prenup. The consistency is interesting. It's like, it's not a powder. I don't know what it is. I think it's a cream or something. And then I go in ColourPop's highlight. Once again, it's also like a creamy consistency. But I usually put it on my brow bone and then I connect it to my cheekbone. I go back into my Morphe palette and I use the same color that I used to define my crease. And then I take this flat brush and I just put this color on my bottom, what is this called? Lash line? This is my favorite part because I feel like this really brings out my eyes. And then it's time for the eyebrows. I use this Maybelline Tattoo Studio Pomade. I just kind of follow my brow shape. And then it's time for lashes. So I've been using these lashes for days now, but they are Ardell. I think it's like Ardell 3D volume lashes or something like that. And then I use this Ardell, this Ardell lash grip. And I just put it on. So this is my finished eye look. This is what I wear like every day. But now we're gonna move on to lips, but all my lip stuff is lip stuff is upstairs, so. Welcome to my humble room. Just kidding, it is such a mess. Don't look at that. Um, so this is a very important step in my routine. I use this LA Girl Ultimate Intense Day Auto Liner. It is, oh, shade Keep It Spicy. And I kind of overline my lips, just at the top. Just like that. I think that looks good. I can't really tell. I don't have a mirror. And then I use this ColourPop lipstick in the shade Law Lady. Sometimes I add lip gloss, but I can't find my lip gloss, so that is my makeup. And now we're gonna move on to hair. Hair really transforms my face, let me tell you. I could literally go without makeup, but have the best hair and literally feel so pretty. First things first on the realest. I use this big sexy hair. It's a mousse. This is amazing. My hair is so dead. Like genuinely, I think if I dyed it one more time, it would fry and dissolve into the air. I hadn't had a haircut in years. People are always like, oh my God, how'd you grow your hair so long? It's so pretty. And I'm just like, girl. I just hadn't had a haircut in like four years. This is the curling iron that I use. It's from Conair. It's a 3 fourths inch curling wand. I usually put it at like the highest heat. I don't really section my hair. I kind of just go for it. I kind of start like at the front. Like that. That's what I do for those pieces. And then I go into my other long pieces of hair. I do not start at the roots. So I just kind of start halfway and then wrap it around like a wand. And let it go. What the fuck? Look at the curl. Why does it look like that? That is not impressive. That's embarrassing. Hey guys, this is how Rebecca co curls her hair. Like this is the type of curl that comes out. Are you kidding me? <sighs> I think it's because my hair is not dry. It's still kind of damp. I thought my hair was dry. I guess not. Okay, so I'm gonna finish up my head of hair and I'll be, I'll be right back. This is my hair. It's pretty long, honestly. It's all types of shades, brown, red, black, you know. I would usually put on an outfit now and like go out or do something, but today I don't really have anything planned. But that is the end of my video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully I answered some of you guys' questions. 
follow me on my socials follow me on instagram i post a bunch of like polls on my stories and outfits obviously on my grid posts follow me on tiktok for fashion tips and also add me on snapchat so you can see like the behind the scenes of my life i'll add you guys back my social media tags are all rebecca xco they're all the same i'll see you guys in the next video